Okay. Well, here we go. About to do a my first ladder race in a long flipping time. Who would have thunk I would have jumped back in the ladder today? We're playing standard mode. Standard start with an uncle randomized weapon. Let's get at this. What weapon are you going to have for me, Uncle? bomb escape in a little while. That's okay. I want for a little challenge. Not a terribly difficult one, just one we haven't had to do in a while. So yeah, the, uh, the way it works is for this mode you are given one weapon. <laughs> Um, if, <laughs> if it's bombs, you get 10. If it's the sword, you get your sword. Uh, if it's Cane of Burna or Cane of Samaria, you get, um, a full magic bar. Um, if it's the bow and arrow, you get, uh, you get, uh, 30 arrows. So, each one kind of gives you, like, the requirement to finish. Uh, you can get the hammer as well. So, yeah, it's either bow. Uh, I think fire rod's possible as well. Hammer, uh, either cane, and a sword are all kind of the weapons that are possible. I'd say bombs is a pretty good one, at least. not happy about that room, but whatever. Hollow Knight has come to rescue you.
Okay. I've got two bombs to kill the key rat. And that way I'd still have one to get through the wall in the back of the escape sequence. Unfortunately, we, we did use two extra bombs. Um, you can get through that beginning with five. I, I can enjoy bomb escape. I don't mind it. I'm just a little out of practice, unfortunately. Too much open. <laughs> All the open modes. Open keys, open 80 keys, open cross keys. Everything's just been open recently for me. Surprise. I'm not sure what a good time for bomb escape is. This is definitely a slow escape. But, I don't know, 635 for a bomb escape? I guess that's not terrible. Never really timed myself to get through bomb escape. As I was thinking, like, I haven't done a ladder race in probably a couple of months. my thought, but I just couldn't think about it. Like, I don't know. You have to detonate at least six bombs. Because you need to do the detonation for two on the two for each blue guard, one for the green, one for the rat. So, yeah, I guess it's okay. Yeah, and unfortunately, I obviously used a couple extra. Ooh, mirror. Mirror and a shield. Exactly. So... Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Unfortunately, I'm out of bombs because I was wasteful.
Thank you for bailing me out. Really bailing me out. This is why people say Cackwell's the best for bombs. You go to Cackwell first because it's quicker. But I mean, besides Mirror, haven't really gotten much. since we've done one of these. <laughs> I'm definitely curious to see where I stand. Still got League, but <laughs> doing this at least will be a little relaxing, I hope. <laughs> Seriously, I am like super nervous about this week. Game five. Ooh, Pearl on the ledge. Yeah, that's why I'm nervous. Why do I get the feeling I'm about to find a flute? Jaws is getting death, whatever, and Zero is getting Raylan. Right? Yeah, not like he was on the championship team last season. I 
I mean, it, it's one of these things, like, believe me, I'm happy we made second round. Like, I am beyond thrilled to have made conference semis. Um, you know, to be one of the last eight teams alive out of the just the 54 is amazing. But, oh god. <laughs> sure. <coughs> and that's the, like... The thing is, is like, I've always believed that. I still believe that. I think the hard part for me on this one is... Like, I used to say that for every match, and I, I always believe it. It's just... I also look at it and I go... There's less leeway in this one. Um, you know, like, I felt like in any league match in the Open League, I always had that in the back of my mind. It was always just like, you know, you look at it and you go, there are limits. <laughs> like, it's definitely possible for you to be in a, in a match and the skill gap just doesn't even, like, won't let that kind of thing come into play. Question is, is if I find the flute here, do I just bail? And it's like, as I said, like the hard part is, is that it's, it's not just him. Like... Their Courage player is also really good. I don't know their, their, uh, so we'll see. I just needed to play, oh, that's Dark World access. You know what? I'm going to have to come this way again anyway. So I'm going to hope that Big Chest is not what I need for other stuff right now and just go with it. Exactly. Yeah, no, I, I know Death King isn't a slouch either, but compared to the other two, you know, it's, that's the difficulty.
Yeah, that's kind of the hard part. I mean, that's invitational level, and like, at the start of the season, I had said this, that that team was probably going to win. And I still believe it. Like, that is the favorite to win this league. What's on the torch? Small key, okay. I know. Oh my god. Don't remind me. I don't know if that's fun or just absolutely horrifying. I mean, you guys are in the same boat. What's your position on this? Do you want to make Invitational for next year? Do you feel ready for that kind of jump? Believe me, that's kind of part of the reason I'm just like, I don't know if I care. Enough. Like, I want to win. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to take a win. It's... This is my... This is going to be awesome just from the standpoint of facing somebody of that caliber and just having a chance to see what happens. Thing is, you're not a weak player though, Penguin. Come on. Every step of the way, I felt like you guys have been really good, so. Super Mario RPG music. I love this one. This is a good MSU pack.
All the 20s. I mean, hey, we'll see what happens. I'm not in any crazy rush to worry one way or the other. Flippers are interesting. Yeah, there's definitely pieces to it. I mean, I started when I first was kind of figuring out stuff. Okay, just bombs. Um, like, one of the first things I really worked on was NMG bosses. And, or at least some of the harder ones. I, I need to work on some classic ones. My NMG Lanmo is dog shit. <laughs> Oh my god, we finally got something. Yeah, if you didn't have to worry about the NMG side of that fight, it'd be an easy one. Or if you didn't have to worry about being super fast because of NMG. had a weapon. It's just funny, like, I, I know each of my bosses needs work. Still. Like, I'm happy where I'm at now compared to, you know, months ago, but... <laughs> Yeah, there just isn't. It's slow. I know, right? It was just in a spot that I wasn't going to go to without boots or flippers. Crazy.
Can you give me a weapon, please? A legit weapon? Hammer or a sword would be great right now. Bottle's not bad. Not what I was looking for, but not bad. It's an Aga seed. I've got bombs and a, and a boomerang. I could kill Armos Knights if I could reach him. Stop giving me bombs. This game doesn't like me. I mean, a second bottle's nice and all, but still not what I need. Lanmo right now, but I can get an item out of Desert Palace.
specifically an item. I mean, just remember, my opponent has the same seed, right? It's all good. You know what? I'm just going to go into the front of Green Pendant Thieves Town. Why not? I've done stupider things in my life. An actual, honest to God weapon. Can't wait to find out who I'm actually against tonight. It's been like my my rating is pretty much a flat 1600 at this point, so. Not really, uh, I am, I am like purely middle of the road of ladder, so I'm very curious to see where we've progressed to since. <laughs> that would be great. Evil, but great. By the way, uh, Phoenix Goon, if you're still here, um, this race format is called the uh, Link to the Past Ladder. Um, so, and the whole idea is is that it kind of sorts you based on your rating. Um, you know, it's a pretty standard like ladder format ranking. Um, so, like, it's really quite fair um, and a great way to learn. It's pretty much where I started in March. Okay, the only problem I have there is what do you do with its key sanity versus like standard versus casual boots versus cross keys versus like I could see it like mystery, sure.
What, would it be like the most vanilla cross keys ever? <laughs> I had a bomb escape, Karma. And I only got the bow about five minutes ago. Penguin, I get your point, but like the ladder has set modes. So inevitably, at least one race during the day is going to be cross keys or mystery. I heard about your cross keys from earlier. I mean, for all I know, this is going to be good practice for this week. This is, this is actually ranked. Good choice. So the way this works is... Um, there's, uh, this Discord, where we all are, um, and what happens is, is that half an hour before a race time, we all sign up. Um, I mean, it's cross keys, and that's just not a nice setup for cross keys. That's the thing. You know, when everybody got pissed off the one night that we had a... That's two items. That, that one night we did cross keys as a group, and everybody got annoyed about flippers on the pedestal. I told everybody, like, Vortex and I were like, this is not mean cross keys. Yeah, it's an ELO system. Um, so what happens is, is that half an hour before the race, a bunch of people sign up. Um, you have to stream. You don't need a delay on it. Um, it's just a straight up race. Um, you get paired off with somebody. You don't know who it is. Complete mystery. Um... You gain or lose points. Um, obviously, they try to keep the, the matchings pretty even. Um, obviously, you know, everybody starts off with a base 1600. So at the start, you know, you're going to, if you're brand new, facing people right around roughly um, mid. Then obviously you're gonna have a rough go. No, Karma, that was real cross keys.
Ah, uh, man, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done pod dark maze without. So yeah, you don't find out your opponent until after the race, um, and then your points change and your ranking changes. Simple as that. It's a great system. Uh, it's how I got my start. And probably how a lot of us got our starts. Obviously, it can be rough. Like, I think when I first started, I mean, I've been watching Rando for a long time. So, like, to say I came in as a complete newbie, like, from a play pers perspective, like, I hadn't played Rando much, but, like, I had at least watched a ton of Rando before I ever did my first race. So, I knew logic pretty well. It's an anomaly, Karma. I mean, it's a skill, yes, but it's such an anomaly, like, I wouldn't feel bad. It's like, I think one of the most interesting races I ever saw was a um, a Cane of Burna bomb Land Molus required for Dark World access. I mean, Penguin, I could have started on uh, the, go the, the Mentor Tournament, but I didn't. Please, 14 hearts is lovely. But like, some kind of, either a, a slashy or a smashy weapon. <laughs> Oh god. That now that's a cross keys. That's something else.
A sword! It only took 50 minutes, but we got one. It's not like there's much of a difference between the two. Because there's been two mentor tournaments, haven't there? Shoot. Two swords on the Death Mountain play. Wow. I forgot to check this. What you got? 50 bucks. Since I've got a real weapon, finally, we'll at least go clear Hera. I might have been watching Rando by then. I think I was. I ran my first ever seed last year for Extra Life. I had watched a lot of Rando, and then that year I got my SNES Classic played through the classic game, not NMD style. Um, did a seed for Extra Life, did a couple of the festives that year. I told myself last year for Extra Life that it wasn't going to become something serious. <laughs> oh boy, was I lying to myself then. Um, and then this year happened, and I decided to take a shot at it. did terribly but then finished pretty much every season I've been in I've finished either a game above or below 500 now it is It's crazy because, like, wasn't the plan. When I was on Mixer, it was pretty much Xbox stuff all the time.
I do want to get a better mix. Of stuff. Stream-wise. I've been... It is. At the same time, like, I don't know. How much do you know, Penguin, about Mixer? Yeah, I'll agree with you there. So I started streaming on Mixer. Three, four years ago? Um, I mean, my channel here is as big as my mixer was in almost what? Half the time, or not even half the time. Like, that was, like, three-plus years of effort, and I'm already... You know... A bigger channel. Or roughly the same. Um... But there are things here on, or that were on Mixer that were just better. I'm sorry. Like. It is a fact that there were just things on Mixer that were better. And nothing's gonna change that. FTL is better than Twitch's whatever. Like, the delay on Twitch, while not terrible, it was better on Mixer. Um, the... Let's see. So delay was better. Um... Please no. Damn it. Really didn't want to see that. Um, so we've been using multi streams for stuff. Um, on Mixer, there was co streaming, which is actually better. But maybe it just works so well because the streams were smaller. I don't know. But like. I played a lot of puzzle games with friends and other games with friends and like being able to have a single merged chat was just better for those like um my friends that I used to do that dang it So, like, she and I did a lot of, of co-streams of, like, puzzle games together. And, like, we've done a couple on Twitch. But it's just not as good. Yep. 
Interesting. And yes, co-stream was better. Um, like, it was a way to watch both streamers at the same time, be in the chats at the same time. Like, squad streaming's not what they want to, you to believe that it can be. Like, it's just not as good. And it's unfortunate. Because, like, part of the lure of the co-stream was just, like, because of the fact that it was one merged chat for everybody, like, you really had that sense of community to it. And, like, working together. As I was saying, like, my friend and I, sh she and I haven't really done many, um, like, puzzle co-streams together, like, just because it's, like, it's just harder to get one and feel like it's actually, like, working as well, because there's just, it's not nearly as good. And I think that's part of why they just don't do it, is because of the fact that I don't know how you do that if you had, like, I'm not even thinking, like, 15,000 viewers. I mean, yeah. But yeah, I guess those would be the worst case. But that's the thing, like, I've watched those people with a thousand plus viewers do squad streaming, and those chats are, you know, one of those chats is pretty rough. Right? Like, how would a mod cope for any of- for either of those? A mod couldn't. Like, it would just be too difficult. Well, let's go get our cane.
Exactly. Like, that would be a fun mix. Like, having both of our chats, you know, as one, being able to, like, kind of bounce, like, a whole conversation like that. Like, that would be fun. And that's what we had on Mixer. Like, we used to do a group of, like, four of us co-streaming Overcooked. And, like, I think in some ways that was overkill, because we were all doing the same thing. Rap bastard enemy. But it was at least, like, it made... it worked. Oh, the key sound just didn't chime. Yeah, I think, I, like, I can live without FTL. Like, I don't think Twitch is so terribly behind on the latency that it's, like, a big problem. Like, do I wish it was better? Yes. But it's not terrible. co-stream thing is the one that always hurts the most. It's a really good one. Today I, I started a playthrough of the uh, game again. We're gonna get our cane and then we're gonna clear desert and mire. I mean, what am I away from go mode at this point? Fire rod?
Oh, uh, I always love the Axum Rangers. I mean, I just want to beat Kulex again. It's been forever since I've played that. Kulex was always the best fight. I don't know, maybe I'm like putting it with rose tinted glasses or something. Jeez, this seed's been slow for a standard. I know I beat Culex, I just don't remember the last time I did. I played that game so flippin' much as a kid. I don't know if I'm doing well in this one. I mean, we're... Oof. Didn't like that. Two items. Here in Mire. If I get the hammer, it's obviously Ice Palace's next play. That's the thing, like, my, my big question here is, please. Like, if you're a pro at dark rooms and know that your cane of Samaria is on the lumberjack, like, there are people good enough to go and say, I'll just go do Dark Aga as soon as they got that first sword.
I mean, that first fire source is not hammer locked. We know that. Because we had the small key in Thieves Town. Oh, I know big keys right here. I mean, the other problem is, is I didn't full clear the front of Skull Woods. No, I knew cutscene was going to be the big key. I mean, the question is, is if I don't find it, where do I go? True. That would be nice. I wonder if I still go to Ice Palace next. Still icebreaker it. Both male upgrades were in Mire. Blue and red male in Mire. That's just... That's rude.
I've got a green potion and a fairy right now. There's Fire Rod. Why did I do that? I had the hook shot. I could have hooked over to this chest. I must say, this is actually a better go mode scenario for me. Because if it was hammer, that could have meant TR. And if it was hammer, it could have also meant Thieves Town Big Chest. So, like, this isn't the worst. We did full clear ice, item-wise. Like, we know Pyramid Fairy's dead at this point as well. So, not terrible scenario here, it's just, you know, where the hell's my hammer? Which bad location is it?
Come on. Get down. I'm just like I'm feeling like I missed something but the two options right now this one's the bad one. The other one's not much better, though. Because the other option is that... My hammer was fire-locked. Not mirror-locked. Because we hera-potted Tower of Hera. When it was a cutscene... Or it was... It was coffee break... For the... The big key... And we only got one item out of Hera. Luckily, only one check in Swamp Palace. Jabated. So jabated. I missed. Like, I'm asking myself, where am I going to go after this? I mean, it's got to be this, right? I'm not being stupid, I think.
I don't know, this just feels slow for an open mode right now. I'm two crystals away from go, so it's not like it's terrible. What a terrible hammer location. I'm being punished. Punished for clearing Hera without fire. And the thing is, is I'm at a position in ladder where that could be good or bad. Because I have to imagine almost any other good runner would do that. Uh, I've had bombos for a long time. I want to say I had I've had Bombo since the beginning of this race. I mean, if what I'm getting you think could have happened Somebody gets Bombos, flips, and decides to like rush Ice Palace without the hammer. I don't know. I feel like Ice Palace without hammer is like a last resort. Especially given, like, my first swords were hookshot locked. had to get to pod to get our hook shot to climb the mountain to get the two swords on East Death Mountain. Dark Death Mountain, mind you. And that gave us the ability to, to beat Aga to get Kana Samaria. So, I don't know. This is just an annoying seed. It's not bad, it's just like stupid.
Yep. Why did I do that? I need the small key. And that's the thing, like, why would... Actually, now that I think about it, Penguin, you couldn't even have come into Ice Palace without having gone up to Death Mountain for those swords. You couldn't have cast Bombos. So, like... You would have been on Death Mountain without fire because you wouldn't even have had a, a way to kill blind that early. So there was no way you were on Death Mountain without fire in this race, your first trip up. It's just physically impossible. I'm low on arrows, and there's a good chance I have to do Ice Armos. So let's just buy an arrow upgrade real quick. And yes, there is that ubiquity of Harapot now. Like, pretty much anybody who plays this game you kind of expect they learn Harapod at some point anymore. I mean, we're on Death Mountain with all seven crystals at an hour 40. I'm not mad. I don't remember where I got Berna. But it was after I got Boots. Because I knew where Red Cane was. I think I got it on the mountain as well. I think Two Swords and Berna were all on Death Mountain. So, like, there is no way you were up here first trip without <laughs> or with fire. <laughs> Yeah. 
and I took those because I had also flippers and went over to pod and got my hook shot. Let's see, that was three, four, five for powder, wow. Six, seven, I mean, the hard part here in this case is just like, I have two whole dungeons. I thank you. That's nice. I really do need to learn how to do that properly. Powder and the mushroom, both in GT. Joyous. Ten through thirteen coming up. Thirteen. Lucky number thirteen. Yeah. Swamp and TR, I just had that sense, like, at that moment, like, could have had both of my swords, and we didn't explore either of them, at least from an item perspective. Yeah, until you grab that sword, it's like... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the fourth sword and silvers are both have something to do with that. With those two. need to learn the dash there. I watch everybody else do it and it's really awesome. cycle. I love that room. Enemizer just makes that room stupid. Oh, and I get to play Enemizer this week. Ramon's first choice was Overworld Animizer.
Like, he didn't go all out. He just said, you know what, let's just shuffle the, the regular enemies. Doesn't want to shuffle bosses. Yeah. I mean, I'll do either. It doesn't bother me. I mean, how much of this seed was practically swordless? I've done enough ladder to at least be comfortable enough with the modes. Like, the whole reason I am my team's power player is because I've done all the different modes on some level. Nice triple. That was a terrible zero. Three, one, zero, two. I mean, I want to say one of my first 10 ladder races was an expert item pool <laughs> Ganon. Mystery race. <laughs> it was only like two crystals, but I spent two hours learning how to fight Ganon with a Master Sword. Knowing that I had lost bad. I had two bottles, luckily. The only big issue was my opponent, yeah, I figured. My opponent found Kate. Looks like I lost. Yep. Dang.
what makes it worse, Penguin, is I got crushed. Um, I played Dragon Strike. Beat me by 15 minutes. fast forward through these credits because who cares good enough typing but I don't know what they did because <laughs> man that is like that is an annoying placement for that First time, first time Dragon Strike went up the mountain, had good old lamp. Wait a minute, how the flip do you do that? I'm going to have to watch back that VOD because like... Unless I missed a sword somewhere. Might just watch back that VOD because, like, you and I talked about it, like, Berna, the swords, Samaria anything to kill blind or go into ice palace you needed that mountain trip to get one of those to get green pendant to get fire you couldn't you had to do you would have had to have gotten a sword to get to aga
I don't know. I mean, there's other things you could have he could have done. Like, if as soon as you got hookshot, you went straight to the mountain instead of cleared all the back of um pod because all pod had was hookshot and then right side had your big key and your small key you would have been straight up go pod if you didn't do it so And if you're able to first trip your your Hera, then you could clear ice first trip. So, lots of ways to save time in this one. It's just a, a rude seed. Well, I'm going to call it here, though, because really, that's it for tonight. So, everybody have a good night. Um, I might stream some tomorrow. Uh, was Berna that early? Dang. So I was wrong about burn and location. Yep. Well, everybody have a good night. Yeah, that was an annoying seed. I played Thieves the way I would normally play Thieves. Dip the front, don't do the back. You know, that's the way you're supposed to do that when it's a pendant. Even green pendant, without a, a sizable weapon, that's a really rough play to make. Eh. That's how it goes sometimes. Everybody have a good night. I'll be back tomorrow probably. If not, I'll see you later this week. We've got a race, a real race, not a ladder race. So we'll see what happens. Good night.